Hello, everybody. I am Amir Rao. I'm the studio director of Supergiant Games, and I work on uh, some of the design aspects of our games and tune them. And I'm here with Greg Kasavin, the creative director for Supergiant Games. Hello. I work on the narrative design and collaborate with Amir on a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. And so uh, <laughs> we're here to watch a speed run of our game, and not just any speed run, a fresh file speed run. Yeah, and that, it's going to. This is this is Vareen playing, right? So yeah. someone, someone uh, for whom this is not their first uh, rodeo. <laughs> so we will see what we can expect uh, here. But yeah, starting starting from a fresh save means uh, the the character Zagreus here is as weak as he can possibly be, right? You're you're pretty limited uh, in what you can do, um, and and chances are you won't get all the way through um, on the very first try. No, and uh, you know our our experience is uh, the game is much much harder when you don't have some of those key mirror upgrades like uh, the double dash or the death defiance or or uh, you know, health the, the health yeah, yeah. Extra yeah health the starting gold um, so um, the ovals you need at the beginning so there's like a lot of ways in which he's uh, kind of playing behind uh, yeah and, and even. Even some of the key systems, right? Like you, uh, you know, the 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 Daedalus hammer, which upgrades your your various weapons, uh, I don't believe is available uh, no. right from the beginning. So you're you're really, uh, really don't have a whole a uh, whole lot going for you. No, you... he's you know he hasn't taken a single <laughs> single lick of damage so far. It's just yeah, you know. I would. I I we um we've always really appreciated the speedrunning community around Hades all through our early access. And sometimes when I talk to these guys, I say my favorite runs are when they almost die. Uh, and they just talk about that, that like, that's not even particularly fun for them because it just causes them to have to go slower. Um, <laughs> so so they just, they, they prize speed and aggressiveness above all. And that's, uh, that's like the main priority. You could see um, it ba it basically uh, Zagreus's health total is down there in the lower left corner. He's, he's got just 50 life. Uh, to yeah. start with, so we'll see if and when uh, he takes any damage here. Uh, so <laughs> he not, took a little, you know, he took a little hit from the. Oh, he did take a little hit. Yeah, just now. Yeah, so a few more like that. You know, it doesn't yeah. take too much in, in at the very beginning. <laughs> and um, these lots here, uh, it, these are you know for many players, they're like the run enders uh, early on. They're yeah. of course uh, when you've been playing as long as Vareen has, they're they're a cinch, but it can be tricky. Yeah, so my understanding is there are a bunch of different speedrunning categories. There's um, people who like to run any heat, get the fastest possible time with max weapon aspect, you know, max keepsakes, max everything. Um, and then there's uh, all weapons where you play with every weapon and try and get the fastest time across all six weapons. And then there's fresh file, which is what Reem's doing, which is super rare, actually. Um, because of the restrictions you're describing, both on the mirror, the types of things that can actually drop in a run, it and the part where you have to do it all with the Stygian blade, um, it's it's like a I don't know, it's a particular taste. <laughs> yeah. I think even in the speedrunning community, <laughs> to to want to do it. So he's got you know, considering it's his very first run. Ooh, that was a big hit. Um, yeah. He's he's got a very key uh, boon here, which is the Athena. The yeah. divine dash yeah. um that's that's like you know it makes it makes it so that your dash is even more powerful and deflects some uh, like a lot of the attacks coming at you and that is uh considered a pretty key um kind of power up in the early going let's see what he gets yeah, here if you're, if you're ever struggling with with hades and you you want some more space and survivability to learn the mechanics uh the athena boons in general give you uh, give you that um, and the divine dash is especially strong at, at kind of keeping you alive and allowing you to play aggressively it's uh helpfully she is the very first that you, that yeah. you run into <laughs> it's really cool that we could see uh the the inputs on the screen by the way you see like kind of exactly yeah um what what the player is doing there in yeah, the corner playing it playing on pc it looks like with the with the controller xbox controller um it's interesting, the the speedrunning community also, I, I would have thought there would be, you know, because on our team, there's people who play with both mouse and keyboard and gamepad, and we know in our early access community, there was those people as well, and in our community testers. 
but all the speedrunners uh, play with gamepad, which I found interesting. I was I was surprised there wasn't any any nice. real uh, mouse and keyboard uh, people uh, in that list. Yeah, because there are some trade offs, right? Like uh, yeah. with with mouse and keyboard, you know, although your your movement is maybe a little less. Um, precise yeah yeah a little less precise because you're using the the keyboard to move you you have more precise aim um yeah. and because it, it, it kind of you can aim exactly at your cursor but i guess the auto aim uh on on gamepad can compensate for that too yeah the way it was described to me is a lot of them just prize the positioning and movement fidelity yeah so that's why they do that um so even here, though oh yeah <laughs> just full he's display. making pretty short work of uh of mega <laughs> oh, right here yeah, if your first run up against Megara does not look like this, don't feel bad. Um, yes. You are in the vast majority of human beings uh, who are not able to do this. <laughs> no, not again. And he's zapping her. He's got the um, the uh, the the Ares curse on his on his attack, right? So you see this big red blade, um, yeah. and it just finished her off. So yeah. every time he kind of pokes her with that dashing strike, it it creates a big kind of additional burst of damage thanks to the good old god of war there yeah the, the blood <laughs> probably won't need that for a while <laughs> yeah the the flat damage is is usually quite a large number and especially in fresh file where you're you know you're not going to find a daedalus hammer you're not going to find these big multipliers on your damage the flat damage is probably really really useful but i have a different suspicion about why he's picking up aries <laughs> did he oh yeah i i, 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 think, I think i know, I know. What, where you're going I, I did he just I sell off did he sell off a boon at the pool of purging did i miss that i don't know i think he might have sold something um yeah. if he's going for i, I th yeah. that seemed odd to me though i uh, it was so fast that that i that i missed it but he but he opened up the pool at all which seems like something you wouldn't do unless you intended to use it yeah i'm not sure so now he's all the way in uh asphodel the game's uh, second region and he's uh oh he took he took another little hit there you know he's that sucked he's close to yeah i wonder why he's so okay with taking damage or if I mean, I just assume everything a speedrunner does is not a mistake, and is part of the <laughs> right. But maybe, maybe he's not. He's uh, he's not always uh, hitting those hits like he wants. Yeah, because you won't even get the um, the fountain chambers in your very first run either. Like later yeah, in the game, yeah. there there are sometimes healing fountains that you could run into in these regions that that kind of boost you back up. Normally, there's no you know, there, you don't have like healing potions or anything, so the damage you take is is semi permanent. Um, so yeah, he's gonna have trouble, kind of getting that health back. Yeah, even the mid, the sort of mid biome oh. chambers, those fountains are actually weaker until you upgrade them with a contractor. Um, so he won't have that. That centaur either. heart was big though. That gave him twenty five more health, and that's that's gonna yeah, be a pretty bonus. substantial difference. He was already going for the the duo boon, wasn't he? Yeah. So there basically. <laughs> One of the most uh, powerful synergies you can get in Hades are these duo boons, which are boons that are offered by Olympians once you have prerequisites from from two other ones. So in this case, he's looking for the the duo boon that combines the power of Ares and Athena. I'm pretty sure that's what he's fishing for. Um, there's an item in the game you can purchase from the contractor later that shows you what all the requirements to unlock each of the duo boons are. Um, but Merciful End is one of those really powerful duo boons if you're going for this intense uh, Athena Ares dash strike build, which he is. Um, and so there is a chance that he's fishing for that. The way you proc it if you, if you, if you have the perfect setup is you set the curse on the enemy and then you dash into them to, to trigger merciful end, which means the curse does even more damage. Did you see that? He yeah. dashed right through the, the <laughs> gate at the end of the barge of death. I actually haven't uh I didn't yeah. see that either. That's, That's really it's really clever. Technology. Yeah. J just to get like an extra you know, it's all about the, the marginal like fractions of a second here and there, right? This yeah. It's part of the reason too, like the room reward timing at the end and stuff. They try and make their way towards the exit so they can maximize. Uh, yeah. They can maximize the the sort of time between picking up the chamber reward and getting out of there. Yeah, he's grabbing every chamber reward basically, like on the that that one. You know, maybe a little bit slower on the draw that time, <laughs> but most of the time he's grabbing them like on the frame that they appear. 
Yeah. It's interesting, you know, one of the things that happens with speedruns too is um, they, they make this distinction between the the sort of real time and the in-game timer. Our in-game timer in Hades is actually quite polite, right? It stops for you when you make boon decisions, uh, when you're opening the codex and all these other, uh, these other areas. And of course the real timer stops for no one. Um, so uh, sometimes you see speedruns marked for in-game time which is often much lower than the real time involved. Yeah, you see the um, the the gameplay timer is there in the top right corner. That's yeah. uh, at about seven minutes so far. Yeah. But uh, that is pretty good progress for being most of the way through um, Asphodel. Yeah, the, it is. The game's second region on the very first uh, escape attempt. So now now he's uh, approaching the second boss, isn't he? Yeah. You know. Let's see if he actually buys anything here. Greg, do you know around what your fastest Hades time is? Do I you remember um you from, know from I, the pre 1.0 playthroughs he, that we were doing yeah like jeez I I think like I want to say like 18 minutes or something yeah. like that yeah. um where I got just some you know like the stars aligned, aligned. for me and I got some <laughs> some really high damage thing I yeah. I don't remember exactly I want to say like sub 20 minutes though yeah I I once in development got a sub 15 on team the fastest player the same I, Darren? I think is Darren, who yeah. um, who is sort of, uh, yeah, who's been there from, from the very beginning. He, Darren Korb is our audio director, he's a composer, he directs vocal performances, does the sound effects, and he's also the voice of Zagreus and Hades. Uh, sorry, Zagreus and Skelly, <laughs> not Hades. <laughs> um, and uh, his, I think he got a sub 12 or something crazy oh, wow. like that on on 1.0. Um, yeah. So he That's also like a... is, in a, is an amazing Hades gamer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is Darren. Darren yeah. uh, quite literally does it all. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so though, man, this uh, this is not going well for the Lernian Bone Hydra here. I would say <laughs> this is some real short work. Can I tell you though what I like about this speed run? Um, so. You know, we worked on this game so long in early access, and sometimes, so we find ourselves watching a lot of gameplay videos. Um, and man, it's hard to fight the urge to want to change stuff always, all the time, when you've worked on a game in early access for a long time. Um, but what I like about this run, just from like a pure kind of tuning gameplay perspective, is he's using everything. Yeah, he really is. He's he's um, he's using the blade rifts to maximize damage from his cast. He's um, He's using the secondary and the primary. Uh, he's he's dashing both to survive and for the dash attacks. Um, it's like, in terms of like a, I don't know what we would say, just like a spectation standpoint, it's cool that he has to make work. He has to make use of everything. Yeah, because that was one of our goals, right? Like we yeah. we want there to be like a huge variety of different like viable builds and different yeah. ways to play the game, but we we don't want uh, too many of them to be totally like autopilot where yeah. you just kind of ride one button and you know are, are able to succeed without really uh doing much of anything else because because it's just not as interesting to play that way really um yeah it's it really just comes down to that i mean it's okay i think sometimes if yeah you know you find you you put together a really powerful button press for a biome or two but it is it is more interesting if uh, i think to play at least if you're you have to use all these things it's cool because he's using the dash to deflect yeah the, he's the uh, track right. arrows and and also every attack at his disposal yeah we even yeah. recently it, it is true that sometimes you know the occasional autopilot build is yeah. um is really entertaining like we we recently saw one where a player <laughs> like literally didn't have to not only didn't have to attack but didn't even have to move uh, because yeah. uh, because the player was so like heavily equipped with kind of revenge style um yeah. abilities that that make enemies take damage um yeah. that kind of brought to mind weren't there her, like yeah, no school you know diablo 2 like thorns yes. builds where enemies just yeah. kind of kill themselves um it was it, that was cool to see i'd never seen anything like it in this yeah, game yeah it's it's so um the 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 linchpin of that of that do nothing build is a duo boon between zeus and Ares called vengeful mood i think it's zeus and Ares. um uh, oh, I might, be, I might be wrong. Oh, he's already at the bull of Yeah, <laughs> and he's doing like really well. Actually, he's picked up a bunch of centaur hearts. Uh, yeah. Look at you know his his health pool now is more. Oh, he took a big hit, but he uh, 
he was over twice his starting uh, life pool yeah. because of picking up some of those centaur uh, heart rewards. I think and, I don't know if, now, it's, yeah. if it's confidence on Vareem's part or if it's just like that he's okay trading some of that health just to get the hits in for the for the time. I'm not sure. I guess we'll never know. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the, I mean, he's certain. I wonder if this. This fight is probably not what you want to see in a speed run, right? This this takes longer, I think, than than uh, the alternative uh, yeah, mini boss the fight catchers? here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I wonder Do you if um, remember if you can get the soul catchers on the first run. I don't think uh, I I don't think that there's a restriction on it. You're okay. definitely not because we handle the case like you don't necessarily fight um, the, the minotaur on his yeah. own. We handle there's like a different event if you meet him for the first time and. In the later fight, as opposed to this one, yeah. Um, what's it gonna take? Bronze skin sounds well. Yeah, yeah I go for the damage, right? Yeah. Because there, there was a there was a boon there that would that would mitigate, that would add to his damage resistance. But if you never take hits, then <laughs> you don't yeah. need damage resistance. He actually took holy shield there, which means if he gets hit, he is impervious that's, for a short amount of time. Yeah, um, that's true. I guess they both rely on getting hit, but that one I, can can increase his damage and stuff uh, like yeah, that. Yeah, I think he, I think he's starting to think about the final. Or if he, he was probably thinking about this from the start, but the what he needs to face the final uh, boss yeah. <laughs> of, of a run, uh, because he 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 probably is expecting to take a hit, um, and yeah, but against the final boss with his health total, that like a bad a bad combo on him could be a run ender. Um, right. So he needs to. He's probably thinking about that a bit. You know, the other thing he picked up was Brilliant Repost, which is a boon that allows you to do more uh, backstab uh, damage. And he's actually kind of making up for the part where he doesn't have the mirror unlocked, which would normally give you the ability uh, to backstab by, right. by picking up that boon, which is which is pretty interesting. I actually didn't know that that was kind of a critical part of, of this particular setup and build. Yeah, I wonder that if is, he gets that, merciful end, or if he ends up just rocking what he has now. Which well, you got to got to go with the flow, right? That's, <laughs> yeah. that's part of the fun of it is that um, right, you know so it's uh, yeah, like a, a speedrunner is going to go for a particular build, but the the randomness may may work against you there and not give you exactly what you're what you're looking for. Still have yeah. to kind of adapt to it. Yeah, absolutely. Man, he is the 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 divine dash is really helpful here against those um, one of the most yeah. notorious. Yeah, flame wheels. Foes in the game, those little exploding uh, chariots, <laughs> the flame wheels. They're a yeah. much reviled uh, foe here in Elysium, but... Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That is a lot of them, but yeah, Divine this Dash... This is a nightmare just kinda... chamber if you have the blade for most people. Right. <laughs> yeah, there's some other weapons, you know, give you more ranged capability to deal with these yeah. guys, but he is just slamming right into them. Wow, he's, that was he's taking advantage Oh, of there them. it is. That's the one. Oh, that was wow. Merciful End. <laughs> <laughs> so then so then yeah it, merciful end is a really interesting one right because you you yeah. kind of like activate the you, you the, see the big the glowing group. Ares sword over an enemy and normally it like stabs uh the the foe a second later but um with merciful end you can kind of activate it um and it does even more damage than usual using a oh. one of athena's deflect abilities he so he has to up. dash into a foe right while yeah. while they have while the Ares curse and you're going to see it in the form of giant red damage numbers, which you see are popping up, 266, popping up when he procs the Merciful end yeah. off of that. So, so this he, is what he's been building yeah, toward, right? He Hoping is. to get. Yeah, it basically allows you... The way to think about it almost is like the attack speed of the curse goes way up. You're no longer waiting the full second. It's just yeah. any time you can get your dash off once the curse is applied. Um, and he's got the curse on his primary attack, so... He, He's not even needing to sort of combo into the rest of the attacks of the sword. Yeah, it's Flight actually a one. really good setup. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. He must have, he must have felt. I mean, the other thing about when you watch speed runs, just so you don't there feel goes yourself, is they never post the runs where they don't get all the stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so, uh, you know. Yeah, part, it took many attempts. To yeah, get it usually your... takes a ton of attempts. Uh, part of the joy of Hades is Oof. trying to. Uh, Pull it together from a bad run, and uh, you know you people generally only post about their most most triumphant successes. The part where he didn't go and and talk to the friendly shade. There yeah, is, no, no is not even the support of shade of gets it gets to uh, yeah uh, get it gets the time of day in a speed run. 
Yeah, in the speedrunning community, uh, a big flex is either is either visiting the shade or in a in a race. If you fish, <laughs> if you yeah. stop to fish on your opponent, it's quite uh, can be quite uh, disrespectful. Of course, no no fishing on uh, on the very first escape no, attempt. He hasn't unlocked the rod of fishing yet. Yeah. You know what's interesting is since it is the very first run, um, there is like a more limited pool of gods. So, so getting this merciful end combo in some ways is easier yeah. um, on the very first run than it would be normally. Like um, Zeus doesn't appear um, until the second escape attempt, for example. Yep. So, so that and and uh, Athena is guaranteed first. So you just kind of yep. have to run into Ares and you know cross your fingers from there. Yeah. No, that's a good point. Um, for in terms of you know we talked about the our, our roles on the game greg as someone who wrote all the dialogue what's it like watching vareem skip it all <laughs> uh it's it's okay we'll see you know we yeah. have a special case uh it, it's not that different but the yeah the first encounter with the final boss is different um uh if you get to him on the very first escape attempt um Interesting. not because we not because we necessarily expected a lot of players would do it but uh, mm -hmm. be, mostly to handle like a little a continuity issue that would be there um like the the default version of the dialogue kind of refers to how zagreus has tried kind of over and over again and it's like wait a minute if if it's your first escape attempt that doesn't make any sense <laughs> so we um so we have to handle a lot of little things like that um in the story and it's we made you know i was talking about this the other day we made that decision at some point because we had to have that conversation of like should it even be possible to yeah. to like clear this game on your very first escape attempt and we're like you know what yeah, that's fine. If someone can go the dif the distance, oh wow, he got lucky there too. Oh uh, yeah. So uh, um, yeah. <laughs> the Seder chambers give you the sack in run in in a range of chambers, so you never know if you're going to find it in your second tunnel or in you know your fifth tunnel or something like that. Yeah. And so he got really lucky and found it in this tunnel again. That was the second? Was that the second tunnel? Yeah. yeah he, he got it as quickly as possible. Do do sticks, I think. Well, this is it. He cleared the Temple of Sticks, and this is the final boss. So, yes. uh, this, you know, Hades is a game that we're hearing people play for like well over a hundred hours. This <laughs> makes it look like a rather short video game, but I guess that's the nature of speedrunning. So here's yeah. the final boss. Um, it, he's he's going to skip over the the special case dialogue here, but yeah. <laughs> Um, you, know, still... you know, you don't have to. If you want to speed run for in-game time, you don't have to skip the dialogue. Yeah, it does. It does pause. The, it pauses the for you. You don't. You don't have to be this way. <laughs> but it probably it probably messes with your flow a lot. Um, in in yeah. fairness, right? Like just yeah. to, I I think you're just kind of the your adrenaline is going. You like want to go go go. Um, yeah. Probably. Oh yeah. Oh man, sure. look at this. That's already yeah. he's already shaved off a a third of his health there. So yeah. he has to kind of, you know, depending on, uh, like, um, Lord Hades here spawns uh, different goons to help, and it uh, varies, you know, from one fight to the next. Um, you could get pretty unlucky here, I suppose, in terms of what he will send after you. But yeah, Vareem is, I He's don't know. No <laughs> I'm, 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 uh, <laughs> I'm not going to bet on Lord Hades in this one at this point. He's just no. got the golden combo. He does. He also, he's also just very, um, he's like, he's very efficient in his, in his defense. Like when you watch a normal person, even when you watch a developer play this fight, there is a lot of dashing. Um, and yeah. he's, he's only, he's only using it to proc merciful and, and, and essentially to avoid, evade that move, the giant spin attack where, uh, Hades Ooh. has some motion on it, which is what often catches players. Um, and he just knows the exact timing relative to the animation and the sound to to basically uh survive the whole spin yeah yeah look at look at uh look at hades's health go yeah it's this crazy. is just like and and you know he varim has yeah none of the kind of permanent upgrades that would normally be um like like boosting your damage yeah substantially so this this same build with like a late game character would be so much stronger um, yep. you'd be able to do this like even faster but the fact that this is a fresh save is um, it's pretty wild. You know, oh, and he's do... doing do, doing this oh, yeah. old uh, this old trick. <laughs> it, it, that one is like as soon as you know that trick, that you could just kind of hug hug your dad to win the game. Um, it's okay. It, we address it later in the game. <laughs> yeah, we do. 
but that's a that's a terrifying attack. But there's a there happens to be a way, yeah, uh, to to defeat it and and while while still dealing tons of damage to him. Well, this yeah. is it. He's got I him. Think, I think Boom. he's I think he's got him. Yeah. Wow. Twenty five. Oh. Fresh yeah, file. Yeah. Twenty five minutes exactly. Yeah. With um just just a little well not exactly but close enough. <laughs> uh, that's. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's all bunch. she wrote. That's amazing. Impressive, really impressive. Yeah, it's incredible. So I guess we just watched uh, Hades clear. It's a good thing there's a lot more to do in Hades after getting your first clear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's there's um, it's impressive. I know Vorim has played hundreds of runs to be able to get to the point, and it's amazing to see our game honored by people who would put that much sort of uh, skill and effort into into being their own best times. And so we really appreciate the time our players spent with us in early access. And here after 1.0, um, thank you so much for um, for supporting us. Yeah, thank you very much. That was really exciting to watch. Yeah, awesome. Maybe we can, now maybe we can try it. <laughs> yeah.